Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, and in front of me I have two phones, the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 7. And I don't do that many live unboxing style videos every year, but this is definitely one of them. And you'll notice I have the matte black iPhone 7 Plus and the jet black, so the super glossy iPhone 7. So I'm gonna take a look at both of these and we'll actually compare them and hopefully get a better idea of which one you might wanna get if you're considering one of the two new colors. But yeah, this is the retail box experience and this is exactly what you're gonna get if you buy an iPhone 7. So they're both 256 gig iPhones. Let's go ahead and open the boxes. We'll start with the glossy black. We'll start with the jet black iPhone. You notice it's a black box. If you buy a jet black iPhone, you'll get one of those rare black Apple boxes. And right off the bat, you don't get the phone at the top. <laughs> you get the design by Apple in California paperwork. And then there is the iPhone in all its glossy glory and the, the plastic on the screen protector. And that is about as fingerprint free as this iPhone will ever be, but there it is. And we'll go ahead and put this on the side and see what we get in the box. Number one, you get your ear pods, not AirPods. These are your lightning attached earbuds. Well, first of all, here's your dongle, your adapter. This is your lightning to three and a half millimeter headphone jack adapter. And it's $9 if you lose this, but it's sold in the Apple store. And then yeah, these are your lightning earbuds. You can see with the lightning connector right there. You will get a lightning cable to connect to your computer, connect to iTunes if you ever decide to do that, and your wall adapter. So uh, let's go ahead and move on and get the matte black iPhone out the box because I have a feeling it's gonna look very similar inside, but let's go ahead and make sure. So again, no phone at the top, paperwork. Move that to the side and you get the iPhone. So matte black obviously looks super clean as well. This is a phone that is gonna show fingerprints too, but not in quite the same way as the super glossy iPhone. On the larger phone side, you do have the dual cameras on the back that we showed in that first hands-on video. And then of course, if you compare it to another bigger phone, like say the Galaxy S7 Edge, you'll notice it's, it's still a lot bigger because it carries that much bigger bezel. I'm gonna actually boot this one up and see what we get as far as iOS 10's first boot. But yeah, it's still carrying a big old forehead, big old chin, the new capacitive home button, and I can confirm that when it's off, it doesn't move at all, which is kind of an interesting sensation. Let's go ahead and boot into iOS 10 and set it up for the first time. I speak English. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Okay, so this is definitely a new step. It's telling me to meet the new home button. So obviously on the iPhone 7, you have the home button that does not move. It's just a piece of glass and it's pressure sensitive. So when we get started here, we'll be able to choose how much, I guess, pressure feedback or what the Taptic engine will feel when we press it. So three is a really firm click response. Two is a default somewhere in the middle. The whole phone seems to be vibrating still, but it doesn't quite replicate a normal press. And then one is really light. That's almost like I don't know if I'm pressing it or not. So I'm gonna go all the way up to three so I know when I'm pressing the button. So there we are in iOS 10 on the iPhone 7. And obviously a lot of the stuff you'll see here is exactly the same as it would be on any other phone that's running iOS 10 like my iPhone 6s, but obviously on the new chip, a little bit faster, a little bit smoother, and a little bit more interesting with this new home button setting. A quick run through Geekbench 4 for kicks since this is the new A10 Fusion chip and yes, three gigabytes of RAM confirmed for the iPhone 7 Plus and two gigabytes for the iPhone 7. But yeah, you can see the final score is pretty great, uh, especially the multi-core right up there, actually above Snapdragon 820 devices. But yeah, there you have it. That is your first look at the iPhone 7 in your jet black and your matte black and a good look at the differences between them. Honestly, if you're having trouble picking, I would just go the safe route with the matte black. This is almost like a special edition phone at this point. If you haven't seen it in person, check it out in a store. You're going to see the fingerprints and the scratches and things like that. But yeah, that's, that's the unboxing experience, and that's what comes in the box, and that's what you'll find if you order a new phone from Apple this week. Either way, that's been it. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you want to see more unboxing stuff like this in the future, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.